morning, everybody, your excellencies. It is my privilege this morning to represent the Chair of Personal African Union Commission, His Excellency Dr. Musa Faki Mahamad, to launch the inaugural Africa Biennial Report on Disaster Risk Reduction from 2015 to 2018. Your Excellency Minister Lamin Diba, Minister of um, Environment, Climate Change, and Natural Resources, representing President Adama Barrow, President of the Republic of the Gambia. Your Excellency, my dear brother, Dr. Wokine Gebeyehu, Executive Secretary of EGAD. Your Excellency, Ambassador Josefa Sako, my colleague commissioner at the Department of Rural Economy, in Agriculture of the African Union Commission, my dear sister. Your Excellency Ambassador Catherine Wangi, my dear sister, Ambassador of the Republic of Kenya, to the AU and to Ethiopia, and the chairperson of our PRC subcommittee on environment. Your Excellency Mami Mizutori, United Nations representative on disaster risk reduction. Your Excellency Anna Borillo, deputy head of the European Union Delegation to African Union, distinguished guests, members of the media, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you, as I said, the fraternal greetings of our chair, Dr. Musa Faki Mahamad. Africa has indeed come a long way in addressing complex disaster risks amid uncertainties and compounding vulnerabilities over the past decades. Clearly, Your Excellencies, much more remains to be done. The African Union adopted the first ever African Strategy for Disaster Risk Reduction in the year 2004. Since then, the content has been gradually transitioning from reactive responses to crises and disasters to proactively developing and implementing policies on the prevention of and the building of resilience to disaster risks. Your Excellencies, building resilience to disaster risk requires strong, capable institutions undergirded by sustained political will. This political will is beginning to grow on the continent. So it was within this context that the African Union Commission established a dedicated disaster risk re reduction program in 2017 with the general support and collaboration of the European Union, the ACP Secretariat, and also with our international partners. This unit has been officially institutionalized in the new African Union Commission structure. The regional economic communities, REX, have also established dedicated disaster risk reduction units. SADC and ECOWAS have even institutionalized disaster risk reduction in their regular structure and their regular budgets. Our member states have continued to put in place adequate governance systems and mechanisms for risk reduction and resilience. Many have established independent disaster risk management agencies. These institutions and mechanisms are beginning to transform Africa's disaster risk reduction agenda in the right direction. That is to quote, to substantially reduce disaster losses by 2030, unquote, as envisioned in the African Program of Action for the implementation of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction 2015 to 2030. Your Excellencies, the realization of this goal will contribute to our vision of a prosperous Africa based on inclusive growth and sustainable development. A peaceful and secure Africa and a strong Africa united, resilient, and an influential player and partner as envisaged in our Agenda 2063. The Africa we want. The Africa we want can best be realized when its development takes into account disaster and climate risks. Because disasters, when they occur, 
reverse our development gains. This is true of recent disasters on the continent. During the first quarter of 2019, Cyclone Idai hit our three member states, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and Malawi. And as a result, the port city of Beria, which is an, an important economic lifeline for Mozambique and all of Southeastern Africa, was almost completely destroyed. In quick succession, as it does not enough, Cyclone Kenneth again hit Mozambique and Comoros, leaving behind trails of mass destruction. Somalia was also hit by two separate cyclones in the year 2019. All this was unprecedented. It further worsened vulnerability and coping mechanisms of the internally displaced persons. Droughts and flooding are increasingly becoming part of life in many African countries. They contribute more than 80% of total disaster losses in Africa. Epidemics, pests, and diseases are becoming more prevalent over the past years. From Ebola outbreaks in West Africa in 2015 to the fall army worm in 2017, desert locust invasion in East Africa and COVID-19 in 2020, we are reminded that life is full of uncertainties and risks. We are also reminded that in spite of progress we have made as a continent, we are still the most vulnerable on the planet Earth. Natural hazards are multiplying, and so are hydrometeorological hazards, pests, and diseases. Natural hazards are becoming more severe and less predictable. Cyclone Adai and Kenneth in 2019 and landslides, disasters in Sierra Leone in 2017 continue to remind us of this truth. We are also reminded that natural hazards are becoming more frequent as we witness ongoing droughts and floods in Africa. And we are once again reminded that the worst disasters are probably yet to happen if we do not build strong institutions for resilience. You must not only build strong but resilient institutions that will build resilience and they will continue to achieve substantial re reduction of disaster risks and losses by 2020. We also have to achieve substantial reduction in disaster risks losses and we must undertake the following agent tasks if we are to achieve that. One, you must maintain the political momentum generated and further increase the political will to translate political commitments into action. The African Union Commission will continue to support the Africa Regional Platform and the High Level Meeting on Disaster Risk Reduction to provide the necessary policy guidance on disaster risk reduction. And here I would like to commend our colleague, Commissioner Josepha, for her leadership. Two, we must strengthen our disaster risk knowledge. This knowledge must be used to inform disaster risk management and to create policies for intervention. It must be used to inform development planning as well. The African Union Commission will continue to support development of binary reports on disaster risk reduction to contribute to this knowledge. We shall strengthen African scientists to generate the evidence required to build resilience in Africa and we will continue to work with our partners to support member states in developing and updating risk profiles. Three, we must mainstream disaster risk reduction in development programs. This is urgent. We must compel all private and public investments to take into account disaster and climate risks. In so doing, we should have resilient communities living in resilient, cleaner, healthier, and sustainable environments. Fourthly, we must establish predictable and sustainable disaster risk financing. We must ensure that financing comes mainly from domestic resources to ensure sustainability. We must strengthen collaboration with our development partners to invest in resilience. We must ensure that such risk financing mechanisms are linked to early warning facilities for early recovery, early response. Fifthly, and perhaps lastly, we must establish agile early warning systems for natural hazards. 
We need to ensure that such systems have strong institutional arrangements to facilitate swift and early action. We also need to ensure that early warning systems are operational and spontaneous. We must link the systems with other early warning systems such as those relating to conflict and disease surveillance. In line with this, Your Excellencies, the African Union is in discussions with the governments of Italy, the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, and other partners to support the establishment of a continental early warning center for natural hazards that will interact with the 16 continental conflicts early warning systems to do with epidemics and other surveillance situation rules. Prior, Your Excellencies, to the establishment of the early warning system, a coherent institutional framework needs to be developed. Work is underway in developing with support from Sweden and the United Nations Development Programme with the systems operationalized in the African Union to have a harmonized response for most of these hazards that affect our continent. I wish to conclude, Your Excellencies, by thanking His Excellency President Adam Barrow and also Minister Lamin Diba, through whom we are having the opportunity to launch this inographical report on disaster risk reduction. We also like to thank the European Union and all international partners for their consistent support on disaster risk reduction, including the support on the development of this biennial report. May I now respectfully invite Minister Lamin Barrow to officially launch this inaugural report on behalf of President, President Barrow of the Republic of Gambia. I'd like to thank you for your kind and polite attention. Thank you so much.